The Northman, the new Viking movie that is out on the big screen for you guys to go and check out. In this one, we follow a young child who sees his father brutally murdered in front of his eyes and grows up seeking revenge and vengeance in order to save his mother and live up to his father's name. Now, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on The Northman. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of The Northman? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And let's get straight into this review of The Northman. <laughs> Okay, so The Northman is the latest content in the Viking era. I mean, obviously we've got so much Viking stuff coming out and has come out. We have the Viking show, we've got The Last Kingdom on Netflix as well that's come out. We've got the new Vikings Valhalla show as well. We've obviously got Assassin's Creed Valhalla that's come out. This one is the latest Vikings content that we've got. So, when I saw the trailers for this, I was thinking to myself, this could go either two ways for me. We could either go down a very repetitive route where I've seen all this stuff with the Viking stuff in the shows and everything else before, so it's going to kind of be repetitive, or it's going to go down this unique, different way that's going to be its own sort of thing. So, I was praying for that one. I really was. And then, after going in and watching The Northman, all I can say is, wow, just wow. Just, I am stunned at what I watched. I am absolutely stunned, lost for words. The way that they were able to create a Viking story that felt very unique and very different from everything else I have seen so far is incredible. It's incredible and it needed to happen because you don't want to go down this route of repetitive, repetitiveness where we've already seen all these raids and everything, the Vikings coming to the England shoreline. Give us something unique, give us a different storyline, give us something that we haven't seen. And that's what they delivered in The Northmen. They delivered that, which I'm so grateful for. The story is rich. This is all about character and story. That's what this is about. So if you're going into The Northmen thinking you're going to see stuff that happens in the shows with Vikings and everything like that, like raids, raiding England, taking gold, all the stuff that we know and we already have seen, you are not getting anything like that in this movie. This movie solely focuses on their main character, who is absolutely fantastic, played by Alexander uh, Skarsgård. He is fantastic. We follow him. It's all about him and his character and building him up to his fate and destiny. That's what this story is about. It's about him getting revenge for what he saw when he was a child. That's what this is all about. It's all driven from him, all driven through him. And it's so good because it's just something unique and different where we have these stories where we see them all thrive about the kingdom and everything like that. It's all about the thrones. It's all about the gold. This isn't about that. This is just about a man who wants revenge, who wants to find out what his fate and destiny is and live that fate and destiny, live up to that, do what he promised. And I love that because I, from the minute you watch this, you are encaptured in that time period. You're encaptured in the characters themselves. And when the you've seen it in the trailer when his father dies, you're automatically rooting for this guy. You're rooting for our main character straight off the bat. You're like, yo, bro. You gotta, you gotta kill that guy. You gotta kill him. You gotta go for revenge. And as we're watching this story unfold, he goes on this journey of, does he follow his faith? Does he go back and go for vengeance, go for revenge, or does he go and steer clear of that and just live a peaceful life? And I like the way that they started this movie and showed us what he was has been up to and how good his life is at that point and the decision he makes, which way is he going to go? Is he going to go after revenge or is he going to go down this nice subtle life where he's a Viking and he's raiding and doing all that stuff what Vikings do? And I like that we had a crossroad for him and throughout this journey, we see him develop and evolve as a character. And 
it's pivotal towards the end of the movie where his character actually has this moment where it's like he decides what he's going to do, finally decides, but then he discovers something that changes the course of what was about to happen. And now he must make another decision in order to do what he needs to do. And it's so clever. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I must say, the performances throughout is absolutely incredible from all of them. Um, Anna Taylor-Joy, she is just... She's just incredible now. She is just world class. She is fantastic in this and the way she bounces off Alexander is just fantastic. I love their chemistry. It worked so well. It is bloody. It is gory. There isn't that many like big action sequences that most people would probably be thinking they're going to be expecting. But the gore and violence in this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's brilliant. It's bloody. It's, it's fantastic. The cinematography and visual effects, and practical effects, are incredible in this film. Oh my god, the location is gorgeous, the effects are beautiful. I loved the whole technical aspects of this film. And what I really appreciated a lot, and I thought really worked really well in this film, is when it came to nighttime, they chose a different color grade. They went the whole gray, black, and white, which I thought was very effective. Having it in this dark environment when it's at night or whether in cave or anything like that, this just pure gray color just worked so well and it resembled the night. And the only time you saw color was when they came to a flame where the color would come from the flame. And I thought that was such a nice technique and nice touch to add into this movie. That just, for the little technical things that people like, when there's little things like that, you can really appreciate it. And that was fantastic. I thought that was used brilliantly. Absolutely brilliantly. I thought the use of the language as well was great. There was moments where they spoke the language. I thought that added effect as well. And it really showcased that we weren't in the English culture anymore. We were in the Northern European moments, which I really, really appreciated well, and I thought that was incredible. I absolutely loved it. The music and score in this movie is fucking phenomenal. Oh, it's so good. They, they nailed that aspect as well. Having that sort of Viking tone to the music and score just elevates this even more, and the way that they utilized it in certain scenes just added weight to it, especially when you get towards the end of the film, the, oh, I must say, the end of the film is absolutely, insanely gorgeous. It just, there's this epic battle that happens at the end of the film that is shot so well, so awesomely, that you felt like you were a part of that battle. The location, the color grading, everything about it was just perfection. Perfection. And the visual effects were great as well. Absolutely top tier in that and it was just so good. And having that music and using it at the right moments just elevated that final battle, which I absolutely loved as well. Uh, this isn't your traditional Viking movie or anything like that, which is what I really appreciate. You're gonna get something unique and different. And I don't wanna hear anyone say that there is no original films out there anymore. The, this is now, now we have the Northman, we have everything everywhere, everywhere at once. We have the unbearable weight of mass talent. Like there is so many unique and awesome original films being made now. And this is another one that's just top tier as well. And it's just, it's so incredibly good. I loved it. And now I, I don't know whether I like it the best of the year, second, like it's just, it's just absolutely fantastic. So let me know in the comments below, what did you guys think of The Northman? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. Peace out.